Hey, it's Mark. I just wanted to do a quick video on some of the things I'm seeing right now. I just did a quick look at some of the semiconductor stocks and the oil market. We've got oil is opening up trading today. It's opening up way up, like 3% up. And what I did is I, I drew a line back to go back to that last trend line. And it, it found support at this this major level that goes back till December last year is basically in a range for a long time there and of course we just broke out the past month or so but what it did was it retested that and held which actually is not a super bearish if it can if it can keep holding and this doesn't turn into like a bear flag but the fact that it held that really strong is pretty is pretty bullish at the moment but I don't see a trade right now because it's still got it's still, it's still in a, a down channel. It's still like downtrending. So like that's the it's basically just come up to its its resistance on that channel. So it very well could fail here and it might go sideways. But it's just not uh, a a setup I want to be in right now. I still got some. I still got my uh, shorts with the SEO calls, so I'll likely be taking those off pretty soon here. But it's looking pretty uh, pretty strong here this morning or this after tonight. So the other ones I looked at were the semiconductors. So I put out on Twitter this chart I noticed on semiconductors where the index has basically just started an uptrend right here where it's got its channel going now. So it broke out of this downtrend channel and then just has been riding up really slowly on this um, channel support there, like right there, right down there. And then, so that that makes me look at TSM, which is pretty much the same thing. Like a lot of semiconductors are actually a lot weaker and they have a, they're kind of different looking, but this one, this one's got the same setup and it hasn't really popped out as much as a lot of other ones. So I see it, there's a setup here if it goes, if it breaks out again over, over 90, like 90 and two cents is pretty much the top level there. So it seems to be lagging the overall index a little bit. So that, I think that's an opportunity there. And the same with AMD. It, um, it just poked out too. So it just poked out today of that, of that channel. And what it does is it did, it just did a lot of bear flags inside this channel, but it's in a clear descending channel now that it's really trying to break out of. And I really like the, I actually like the technicals a little more on this one because it has, it has a really clear, clear triangle breakout there. On a, on a really good day. So I think if if it goes green as well tomorrow, that's a long, but it very well could pull back and, you know, and could try to hover around here until it figures out what it's gonna do. Cause you can see in the past, it's broken out. It's broken above the channel and then just can't come back down. But it really looks like it wants to, to stay up, stay above this time, but um, I'm not going to be convinced until we get like a break above the highs there, which are uh, 107.87. So good technicals going there on AMD too. And one of the things I I did some research on the on the computer chips the, you know that Taiwan Semi makes, and their Taiwan Taiwan Semi is the largest manufacturer of ASIC chips, according to my research. And the ASIC chips are just the more specialized chips for to do certain things like like instead of using like these video these really expensive you know big um, all in, all in one purpose video cards the the ASIC chips the ASIC ASIC chips might be they might be the future for for artificial intelligence systems where they're eventually going to take less compute I believe over time and it'll be more specialized 
and that would be like the perfect kind of chip for an AI, for an LLM or an AI, AI model, because they're built for just for just to do certain things. So it looks like the markets were gapping down a little bit, but not a lot. So there's still a potential that we just keep rallying. But I just want to do a do a video on those on those semiconductors because those look pretty good. Um, the AMD and the TSM on follow through. And one of the things the other things I noticed was the ARB. Is ARB is a, a merger arbitrage ETF, so it trades the stocks that are getting bought out. You know, mergers where companies are buying other companies, and it's had really good relative strength on um, the second half of the year. You see the the market, the overall markets took a really um, really big switch back back you know in the middle half of the year. So this one's actually been been strong in the second half of the year, which is very different than the market. So that's an interesting thing that it's that it's strong while the market's weak. So that's always a nice thing. And I think this is a good to me. This is a good good um, more investment type type position because it's just had really good relative strength and merger arb plays are really safe you know if you do if there's a lot of them so this is kind of like a perfect vehicle for that like it doesn't have a really long track record but it's done pretty well for a new ETF and just like I was saying, the fact that it's up so much in the second half of the year is really nice considering how bad a lot of these, these markets have gotten gotten uh, wrecked here. So that's, that's an interesting one. And I still got all, like all my puts on and we can look at the NQ futures or they just started trading today. So yeah, it's a little pullback not crazy so it's still in position here to possibly have another green trend day tomorrow because it just broke out of this of this range there like we can call that the, that's the range it was in since you know September 22nd and it broke out and it's actually it's funny how it actually just opened up around that that range too. I'm gonna call this an in, this is like an internal trend line where it touches the most the most levels. So there's a level there, and there's a level there and there. So that one was like an overshoot based on that kind of analysis. So it's funny how we it just it tested that level and then opened up. So it's still looking kind of bullish if it if it goes green on the day. So those are the ones that I just want to do the quick video on and I'll probably post my watch list up on Twitter later tonight or maybe in the morning. But I've got I've got some other stocks too that I was looking at, so I'll put that out on Twitter or anything else I find. But I ran some scans and looks like pretty much the same things I had were the ones I'm interested in. So I'll uh, put those up as I see and I'll catch you later.